Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I'm going to show you how to set up your Pi-hole as a local DNS server. So your Pi-hole is probably already functioning as your local caching DNS server for your network, but when you're resolving DNS names to it, it's just going to either forward them on to some other server on the internet to get the IP, or it's going to send back a cached response. It doesn't really have any custom entries for your local devices on your network. So if I wanted to go to my home router with a name like HTTPS router dot whatever, it's not going to resolve it to anything because there's no actual like custom DNS entries on your pie hole. Now you could put these on a DNS service on the internet, just put a private IP in there. That's perfectly fine. But why not just do it locally? So that's what I'm going to show you what to do today. So here I'm already logged into my pie hole and we're going to change the directory here to etc dns masq.d and we do a list and you can see we have two files here the readme and 01 pihole.config that's pihole's config file that's what it's using for all of its dns operation now what we need to do is we need to add a second config file in here so let's do a sudo nano and we're going to name this 02-lan.config and enter our password and then now we need to type in just one line in here and that's addn hosts equals slash etc pihole land dot list and we exit out of that save it so what this is doing is it's telling pihole that there is actually for additional hosts there's another list to uh, pull from and now we need to create that list so if we do a change directory etc pihole you can see we have this local dot list this is what the pihole is actually running off of now if you, you can put entries into there but whenever, I think it's the gravity process or whatever, whenever it gets updated, it's going to flush any of your custom entries out. So they won't hold. So what we did was we made a second list. We're calling it land.list, and that's where we're going to put in our custom DNS entries. Now, before we do this, I'm just going to pull up the internet browser here, and I'm going to try to go to HTTPS dot, well, HTTPS um, router dot LAN, and we can't get to it. So going back to our pie hole, let's do a sudo nano land.list put this in here and then we're going to type out our IP addresses and our DNS names. So I know that my, let's see, something that I want to access, let's see, 10, oh, I forget you can't use the number pad in this program. So 10.88.88.241. So that is actually my UNMS server. And then we do a tab and we're going to do December-UNMS.LAN. And then if we save this, yes, write that if we do a list we can see we have it over here land.list and if we go well first we got to uh, restart dns service so sudo pihole restart dns and then if we go into edge we can go to https december unms.lan and it pulls up where we wanted to go So that is how you set up your pihole as a local dns server and if we do a uh, if we edit this file again, you can enter in as much as you want. If you want to go down the list, like 192.168.0.1, if that's your router, tab it, router.lan. 192.168.0.15, say that's your switch, oops, switch.lan. Then all you gotta do is type in those names into your web browser and that's gonna take you to your local devices. No internet DNS needed or anything like that. And you can also change your uh, prefixes here not prefixes you're having a brain fart but your dot lan you can change that to whatever you want dot we'll change that to dot dog save that and then do a restart of the dns service and go up here and change this to dot dog and we're getting to it so you can have whatever you want just be aware don't use local because your pie hole is already using that one plus there's a lot of other services that already use the dot local uh, DNS. So don't use that. And also try not to use one that's publicly registered. Just, I mean, you don't have to follow that rule, but it's good because if you ever want to access that domain, you're not going to be able to because your pie hole is going to resolve it locally. So hopefully that taught you how to do DNS on your pie hole very quickly. And I hope to see you in the other videos. Thanks for watching.